To run your simulation, be sure the name of the simulation you want to run appears in the drop-down menu immediately below the simulation button. However, before you start, it is highly recommended that you close all the tabs except SCM Globe to free up memory and processing so the simulation runs as fast as possible. Click the simulation box, then click play. You will now have two SCM Globe tabs open, one running the simulation and the other available for editing. An error message box will appear when a supply chain failure occurs. The message box provides specific information regarding the point of failure. Analyze the myriad of data available, then click on the other SCM Globe tab to begin editing to adjust your supply chain. Find the facility, route, or vehicle to edit. Make your adjustments and update the information. Go to the simulation tab and click it. Then be sure to go to the refresh page icon and click it. Now you have updated the entire simulation information and you're ready to return to play. Click play and of course you can pause at any time. Use the pause button, use the stop button, or you can change the interval at any time. You can also change the duration. Uh, so that'll be the entire period that you're attempting to run it for. Your challenge is to get the simulation to run for 20 to 30 days without failing. Then by testing and adjusting, get the simulation to run at the lowest cost and leanest inventory possible for that period. Uh, you can click Show Graphs, and you're going to get the results for each of the facilities or whatever you look at. You can export your results by clicking on the export, and it will automatically download to your computers. You may also click My Account and click Save and the current version of your simulation will be saved to your PC. This may also be sent to others that are using the software.